Hi everyone! Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome! It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, welcome back guys. So, welcome to your readings for August of 2018. Summer is almost over. Boo. I know, it sucks. But, on a happier note, I want to give a big ol' happy birthday to the rest of the Leo clan that are finishing out your birthdays. It's your birthday season. I hope you guys had a great one. And I want to extend a happy birthday to the, Var the Virgos. Yeah, we're going to be going into your season soon. So, happy birthday to you guys. I hope you enjoy. Um, so, down to business. These are general readings, okay? So, take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Yes, don't try to like fit something in there and then, you know, when it, you know, it really doesn't resonate, it doesn't fit. Yeah. Um, I am officially back in business when it comes to personal readings. Yeah. So if you would like a personal reading with me, you can find all of the information in the description box below, um, which includes the readings that I offer, a little bit about them and my email address. Yes. And their prices. If upon reading through them, you don't really know what reading you think would work best for you, just go ahead and email me. We can chat a little bit about your situation and then I should be able to decipher which reading would be best for you. Yeah. If you are in the New York City metro area, I will be at Om Shanti Bookshop every Monday from 11 to 5 p.m. That is located on 14th Street between 1st, I'm sorry, between 2nd and 3rd Avenue in Manhattan. Please come by and see me. I would love to meet you in person. You can either come through as a walk-in, you know, at the time that you want, whenever it's convenient for you, or you can go to the website, which can be found in the description box below, and get their phone number. And from there, you can schedule a reading in advance. Yeah, definitely works out well that way. For the readings this month, I will be using the Golden Universal Tarot. I love this deck. Look, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Like, it's so pretty and golden. Well, actually, you can't, you can't really see it that way, but you'll see it when we get into the reading, yeah? And then I will be pulling some Oracle Guidance from the Fairy Forest deck by Lucy Cavendish. Yes? Yeah. Anything else? Anything else? I don't think so. So, without further ado, let's get to it, yeah? Hi Cancer, welcome to your reading for the month of August 2018. Let's get into it, shall we? All right. Hi Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Cancer for the month of August 2018 to serve the highest good of all involved. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Cancer, so how you doing? Uh-oh, we've got a flyer already. So, <laughs> oh boy, Four of Wands came out. It is upright. Um, there's a blessing in disguise here with the Six of Wands in reverse and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. I'm hearing someone's taking their sweet ass time. Someone is also maybe procrastinating. This could be you, could be someone else you're dealing with. I'm also getting that someone is, is reaping what they've sown. So the reason why the Four of Wands is here. Now, the Four of Wands is stability. Um, this could be a home situation. This could be just strong foundation in a relationship or a situation. It also is a Twin Flame Union card. Okay, so what's happening here? Why this Four of Wands is here and why this is a blessing in disguise even though it really doesn't feel like a victory right now, ultimately in the long term it is because someone is reaping what they've sown. Karma, what goes around comes around. But this is, this is a good thing because ultimately people are learning. 
People are learning about manifesting. Learning that what they put out, they will get back. Threefold. So if you don't want a shit harvest, don't plant shit seeds. <laughs> All right, cool. Cancer. Cancer, cancer, cancer. Let's get this. Let's shuffle a little bit more here for you. Cancer. I'm hearing they see what they've done. They see either you do, Cancer. You probably actually are starting to. Also, you might be seeing the error of your ways here, but I just heard they see, they see what they've done. They see the error of their ways. Now, there could be, especially with this Seven of Pentacles in reverse, um, whoever we're talking about here, this could be you, this could be the other person, that someone might be having trouble coming to terms with that. It might be being a little stubborn about it and like not necessarily wanting to admit it, even though they see it for what it truly is. Like they can't deny it anymore. But that's okay. Don't worry about that. That's all just part of the process of healing. Ultimately, what this is doing is making the foundation between the, the, between the two of you stronger, firmer. More tangible, more intact, is what I'm hearing. All right, Cancer. One more shuffle. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. Boop. All right. Overall energy, Cancer. We have... Ha ha! The Nine of Swords in reverse. Booyah! I like to see that. Releasing anxiety, fear, sleeplessness over the situation. Uh oh. There you are, Cancer. The Chariot. In reverse, though. The Ten of Pentacles, which is upright. And the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, look, this isn't such a bad thing. And I'll tell you why. You're coming, can't you? Okay, what's this? The two of pentacles in reverse. Okay, well. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cancer, you might be feeling a little bit out of whack emotionally right now, especially with that two of pentacles that Kate, that's underneath the ace of pentacles here. Um, It's just that you're in a period of coming out of anxiety over something. And your focus is on your material life. So your focus right now could be on um, your finances, uh, your the material aspects of like your family life, like making sure your family's good, which is which is definitely what cancer is about. Um but, and with the chariot in reverse here, which is you, I, I'm just not feeling like you're really making any moves right now. You're just not making any moves right now, okay? And there is a potential new start here on the horizon for you, but, and, 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 and I'm pretty sure you see it for what it is, but it's just like, you're not, you're just not reaching for that right now. You see it there, but I'm getting an energy of trying first trying to understand how that's going to fit into your material life, okay? Now, you may not be making a move also because of this Two of Pentacles energy here that's underneath the Ace of Pentacles, which is in reverse. So you could be feeling like you need to get balanced. You need greater balance first in your material life before you can even consider moving towards this Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Now, that could be an element of just, I want to say, being a, a little bit of a worry wart, which I, I, I say with all the love in the world, but it's okay. I just feel like, and maybe this is because of that last eclipse with the full, the, like the full moon and the eclipse. We're still feeling that energy, guys. And as, 
Um, as cancers, you know, you're very, very intuitive. So you could just be trying to balance out from that eclipse, which definitely brought some family situations and friendships, like social situations and stuff like that, uh, discrepancies within these relationships to the forefront. So, I mean, that all, that all makes perfect sense, if that's what you're feeling right now, okay? Getting into your storyline here, we've got the Six of Cups. You've got a soulmate on the horizon, Cancer. Potentially. For some of you, this could be feeling nostalgic. Six of Cups is coupled with... Whoop, whoop! The sun, but the sun is in reverse. So... You know that there's a new start. You know that there's a uh, you know that there's a soulmate on the horizon for some of you, or maybe this is just someone from your past, and there could be a, a new start with them. But you see, with the sun in reverse, you're not necessarily seeing it all that clearly. But ultimately, it's a good thing. It's a very good thing. And I'm hearing illumination will come as time goes on. Yeah. Moving forward, we've got the Eight of Wands. So there could be some sort of communication coming through. And I'm, I'm actually, I'm seeing communication that could help get you moving. with Because this is right under the chariot, your card. Eight of Wands is coupled with, whoa, 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 the Seven of Swords. So, yes. Okay, so maybe you weren't moving because of deceit in the past. And now you'll have an opportunity to talk it out which could help get you moving again, which could help bring you out of your shell, Cancer. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's the illumination that you need with the sun in reverse. Yeah? Moving forward. The king of pentacles. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Coupled with the Seven of Cups. But you see, there's some confusion around this person. Doesn't have to be an earth sign. It's just someone that's very stable and grounded. And this could be someone that is trying to bring forward this Ace of Pentacles. You see that pentacle in that guy's hand? And his hand, kind of, his other hand, which is holding a scepter, I believe, it kind of looks like it's over his heart. So this person might really want to give you an offer. But what's challenging you about the situation is there's confusion. There could be a bunch of different things associated with this situation that you're like, well, what about this? And what about this? And what about that? And what about this? And you said this and you did that and blah, blah, blah. And it's like just all this stuff spinning around your head surrounding this person. This doesn't have to be um, male, uh, male and gender. This could be a woman too. I'm, I'm just, we're just, we're speaking to the energies here, masculine energies within the pentacle suit. But it could be a man. It could be. Doesn't have to be though. Okay. Moving forward, we've got ooh, 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 the King of Cups in reverse. Eleven, eleven on the counter. That could be you, Cancer. It could be. Because like I said, I really feel like your emotions are kind of like all over the place right now. <laughs> oh, goodness. Coupled with the Ten of Wands. Okay. But you see, this is why your emotions could be all over the place. Because you're burdened. You got to release some of these burdens so you can like balance yourself back out. This could be why the Two of Pentacles was underneath trying to come out saying you're trying to get balanced. And in order to get balanced, you just, you got to release some shit. You have to. You're carrying too much, Cancer. This absolutely could be all of this confusion, all this shit here with the Seven of Cups. Because you remember how I was saying it? Well, what about this? And what about that? And you did this. And you said that. And this happened. And that happened. Blah, blah, blah. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's all those burdens. The Ten of Wands which is throwing you into an emotional frenzy with the King of Cups reversed. Okay, 
Moving forward, the Hermit in reverse could be dealing with a Virgo. But also, Cancer, this could be you not going within. Could also, also, though, could be you coming out of your shell. Mm hmm. Coupled with, whoop, the Ace of, I'm sorry, the King of Swords in reverse. Now, some of you could have gone in your shell in order to, you know, to turn this King of Swords energy around. Some of you might be, might have been, might be hiding away in your shell and not seeing things clearly. Like staying in your shell with a certain viewpoint about something and refusing to come out of it, refusing to see it clearly, refusing to listen to your inner self and say, wait, actually, no, it really isn't what I've been trying to tell myself it is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oddly enough, though, there are some of you that, that could be coming out of this hermit moment and still not seeing things clearly, still kind of not being diplomatic about something. You could also be refusing to see things differently. Moving forward, we have the Knight of Cups in reverse. I'm feeling like that's an, an, uh, a rejection of some sort of offer. Coupled with, whoa, the Ten of Cups, but it's upright. You got the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. <laughs> Gosh, this is confusing, Cancer, because it's like, I'm feeling like you want some, some, some sort of emotional offer. Like you want the Ten of Cups here, but you're not willing to take the offer when it, if it comes through. That could very well be because of all this confusion here. From the ten of cup from the seven of cups. I Cancer, this is a little I'm gonna be honest with you, this is a little this feels a little frustrating. If you want the ten of cups, why won't you take the offer? Why are you being so stubborn? It might be that you're going to probably just make it difficult for this person. Should they come forward? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right. Moving forward. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Coupled with. Uh-oh. The Three of Swords in reverse. So... There could be a release of feeling inadequate because of a third party situation. Finally. There could be a, a need to release this though. Like you really could be stuck in this energy of um, three of swords, third party energy. It could be like, uh, you know, someone cheated or there are just people getting, getting in the way and someone got left out in the cold. Or you felt like, because of this situation, you felt like you got left out in the cold. But I feel like this is stagnant. Like, I feel like you're stuck in this energy and you need to, to you really need to get out of it. Okay? And that's falling right under the Seven of Cups and the King of Pentacles up there. Um, so I just really feel like you've got to let this go. You have to. Because ultimately, you want the Ten of Cups, Cancer. You want the Ten of Pentacles, <laughs> but you're carrying the Ten of Wands and the Seven of Cups and the Five of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. <laughs> you get it? You have to let it go. Or you will continue, you will continue to block the Ten of Cups that you so deeply desire. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Okay. Ooh, finally, we have, uh-oh, the hanged man. 
So you start in this row, you started with the hermit in reverse, and now you're ending with the hanged man upright. And to me, these energies are very similar. Whereas the hermit is going within to find spiritual light and finding your own inner truth to gain spiritual guidance and inner spiritual wisdom, the hanged man is a self-imposed isolated energy um, within the 3D corporeal world in order to see things differently. To gain enlightenment, yes, but this is in a much more physical way. The hermit is in a non-physical way, okay? The hanged man is coupled with the two of swords. <laughs> but this is why you're in a hanged man state. I'm feeling like Um, I'm feeling like because of the stalemate you're in, you're putting yourself through some sort of self-imposed isolation. This is definitely another depiction of you being in your shell, but also like not wanting to come out of it. Like you put yourself in the, sh oh, there it is. You put yourself in your shell. Yeah. And then, and now you're, and, and now you're like stuck. You're staying in there and blindfolding yourself to the truth about the situation. While still, while also needing to listen to your intuition and your higher, higher guidance, which is trying to tell you the truth about the situation. But there you are, here you are, stuck up in your shell, telling yourself things to make yourself feel better. Yeah, I'm talking to you, boo. <laughs> but it's, but you're lying to yourself. You're deceiving yourself. You're blocking what it is you truly want. Ten of Cups, Knight of Cups, but the Knight of Cups is reversed. Mm-hmm. I wish you could see my face right now, but I am not camera ready. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get into the... <laughs> Stop laughing at me. Let's get into the Oracle Guidance. All right. All right, all right, all right. Best message, please, for Cancer in relation to this reading. Best message, Jarrett, please, for Cancer. Whoop! There it is. Ah! Vulva! Again. Which one? Who, who, who got this one? Who else? It might have been Taurus. Yes, it was Taurus. Oh, boy. Look at that. <laughs> There's that Taurus again. Okay. Um, so you might want to watch the Taurus video. You might. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 33. Vulva. Prophecy. Guidance. Direction. There are those who can see beyond the present moment, who can see the way the web is woven, and who can connect to its strands and share with others the messages they long to hear. Such a one is the vulva, a witch, a seer, a woman who can see beyond the physical world. When she comes to you, you are being asked to connect to your own roots, symbolized by her staff, and you can connect deeply into the earth and begin to listen to the language of the world and to receive its messages. It is imperative that you honor her and her messages through respectful listening and making space to act on the guidance given. The advice and magical guidance given through this card is feminine in its aspect, yet it is anything but stereotypical. It is, a, it is strong and wild and fierce. There is a ruthless quality to the truth that will now come to you, but because of its clarity, there will be a great healing. <coughs> Excuse me. You are also being asked to consider your independence, to no longer give up your freedom simply to have relationships. The vulva is not celibate, but she never allows herself to be possessed by a relationship. This too is your fate for a time. Hear now the voice of the vulva. Take up your staff, strike it into the earth, and listen for the messages to come forth. I mean, Cancer, you're pretty intuitive anyway. So you can connect and listen to the truth, Cancer, with the Hermit in reverse and the King of Swords in reverse. You got to be honest with yourself. You have to. I understand you might have gotten hurt. Someone may have acted a fool. 
But you have to be honest with yourself about the situation. Stop lying to yourself about it. Because that is blocking what you truly desire. Ten of Cups. Knight of Cups is reversed. But because that message is blocked. I really feel like whoever you're dealing with or whatever situation you're dealing with is really potentially quite emotionally and materially fulfilling. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. The only thing we didn't get is the Ten of Swords. Which to me says that this situation is not over. But you're carrying too many burdens. You're carrying too many burdens, Cancer, associated with this situation. And it's interesting. You came up in this situation as the chariot, obviously, this is your card. Chariot is reversed. But other than that, you came up as masculine energies, the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Swords, both in reverse. So it's like you are actively putting the kibosh on this, consciously putting the kibosh on this with the Ten of Swords. I'm sorry, with the King of Swords. And then emotionally putting the kibosh on it with the King of Cups by carrying too many burdens, by refusing to let go Maybe refusing to let go of the past. All right, Cancer. There it is. Much love to you. Thank you for tuning in. And I look forward to connecting with you guys for the month of September. Yeah? Take care. Mwah. Bye.